guys. <clears throat> you know are, you're going to get a show. You do. As a race yeah, fan, there's absolutely. nothing better to watch. But the the the, the level that the, this the tight competition between these cars, it's incredible. They put on a show wherever they go. They they've just been doing awesome. Yeah, they do. They do. And the Iron it's Giant. Been fu- it's been fun to announce them. I mean, it's just it is. it's full of action everywhere. Yes, and the Iron Giant at Willamette Speedway this year with all the, with all these guys that are on here, plus what we have at Willamette and guys coming from all over, it is going to be it's going to be chaos. It's going to be a phenomenal show. But Andrew Langan, uh, second time out with that car, picks up a win, the seventy four. Have you? And this is the car we've talked about a couple times. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal piece of work. It is, and you know you, that seventy four car. It's the car to beat down there at Cottage Grove. Look at who came in second, the 85 of Evan Britton. This kid just graduated high school. Yep. And he's a wheel man. Have you watched him drive that 85 yes, car? Yes, I have. He is one to watch. Th- this kid is a, another rising a rising name. He, he truly is. This kid, if he sticks with racing, is, is going to go as far as he wants to take himself, I think. A great talent. Uh, Ray Bloom, Bloom Racing. We're starting to see these guys really establish themselves, you know, as, as, a, as a serious contender. I mean, in, the, in this division anyway. Fourth place, Kyle Yak. I think uh, a lot of people surprised by that. <clears throat> I don't know if he can really be surprised given the level of competition this division holds all over the Northwest. What surprises me is that he was seven over seven seconds back and still set the fastest time in the be- the best lap time during the that feature. Main. Yeah, something must have happened to that car. I would. I would. I'd he be- hasn't I'd, had. I'd, t- I'd bet on that. <laughs> 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 he hasn't had stellar luck this year, Kyle Yak. I mean, he's had, you know, had to rebuild the car, and the whole left rear quarter got taken out a couple weeks ago and demolished. And he was, uh, he was sitting on top of a pig pile in Madras. Yep. I mean, he he has not had an easy year so far in that forty number forty seven Monte Carlo. No, he has not. Fifth place went to Garrett Garrett Barth in the twenty three Joey Cannon. I thought Joey wasn't gonna be able to make this race, but he pulled it off. Like he's done several times, you know, at the last minute, pulls in with the the number eleven, and that's the American and goes racer way. He is, yeah. He's he just is a guy that just lives to drive race cars. Period. I mean, if, if there wasn't race cars, Joey Cannon wouldn't exist. <laughs> you know, that's just kind of how he is. Uh, Jordan McDonald, he was uh, seventh. Melissa Adams eighth. Hunter Bloom ninth, and running out the top ten was Roy Moore. Um, I am excited to watch these guys move up to Willamette for the street stock uh, Iron Giant race and, and call that one. <clears throat> so sport mods? Uh, Hornets. Oh, Hornets. Wow, look at all those cars. 19 of them. Holy 19 dang. Hornets in Grove. 19. That's a lot of cars in that little track. Yeah, yeah, those, those guys down there, they love their Hornets. You know what? They're a great they class to watch. I mean, the Hornets at, at Cottage Grove, became a, it's a track that suits that smaller car, the smaller engine. Absolutely. They don't get spread out and go single file for, you know, after three or four laps. These guys go door to door, two, three wide. I mean, it's, it's hardcore. This Hornet class, <laughs> I think it's probably the best place to watch the Hornets, much like the sprint cars for Cottage Grove. I mean, they got a great field, and they do it. I mean, it is, it's Saturday night shootout racing with, with the Hornet class up there. Chris Pierce. Picked up the win. Um, not much of a margin there. Just barely over a tenth of a second. Wow. Over uh, Rich Dickinson. KC Scott. We know he's been fast this year. Joe Miracle, a, a staple there at Cottage Grove. He's very established in that division. Mike Swain. Brad Moffitt. Bernie Bryant. I mean, there's a list goes on and on and on. Look at the names. Kayla Simmons, you know, one of the lady drivers down there. Tiffany Towns. She took a wild ride. Yes, she did. She got turned that's upside a, that's down. That's a new car. Isn't that her first time out or second? No, last time she was out was at Madras in the truck and it rolled. Remember that? Yep. Well, I saw something on Facebook. She got it. I car, don't know if she got her out. first. So she runs regular, huh? She does. She, she jumps in and out. Oh, yeah. I see. She jumps see. in and out of cars, but, you know, it's the last two times she's gotten in a car. It's been a little bit of a wild ride for that young lady. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Uh, but she, she, she's going to get back in it and do it again. She might be small, but she's full of grit. I'll yeah. tell you that. I mean. <laughs> Nice lady. I, I, yeah, I've talked to her a few times. We had a lot of fun with it with the towns here at the uh, at the car show. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Hornet division there is. It makes me wonder why we don't have nineteen Hornets, twenty Hornets. That 20, was my thought. 
you know, why at Willamette do we not get those cars? Well, what's, you, what's the you, deal? Let's talk already, about that. You already said it because it's that straightaway speed. They're, they're, if there were a chip in them, they'd be on the chip coming off the corner. You're right. Heading onto the straight. And it's blah, 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 all the way down the straightaway. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> do what again? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, so I think that has a lot to do with it, the size of the track. I think you're right. At that. I think that actually hurts. I think it has everything to do with it. Yeah. Well, I, I think also the Hornets at Willamette Speedway are a growing class. It's a new class. This is the second year it's been around. It is growing. You, the, it's the second year the Hornets have been there, but we've had the mini trucks for mini three trucks. years before that. We couldn't get more than six. Yep. But you've got, you know, more Hornets showing up. This year the counts have been better than they were last year. Oh, I'll give you that. So I, it takes time. It does take time. What are you doing in your rocking chair there, Grandpa? I'm not even sitting down. Not even sitting down. Where do you want to start with sunset, buddy? Uh, we're already at sunset. We're at sunset. Oh, dang. We're flying around here like Joey Tanner at Willamette Speedway. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Good. Let's start with the four bees. Let's move our. Let's go bottom to top. And then we got to start with the newbies then. Well, let's go to the newbies. Is your mama in there? She She's not. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Sayre. You know the Sayre family very oh, well. Oh, yeah. 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 This Great is uh, Eric for years up there at yeah. Portland Speedway. Yeah. Eric and... Wes and, and the whole gang up yeah. there, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's. Uh, I am not surprised to see a Sarah in Victory Lane, you know. Now, who's who's Taylor to uh, Eric or niece. Wes? Niece. Oh, it's a girl. Yes. Oh, I'll be darn. Yep. Young lady is. Uh, she's been moving. She's come out of the carts. She's been moving up the last few years, and they've got her into this newbie class, which is rookie drivers, basically in four cylinder race cars. Right. These kids are all under. I want, I want to say well, they're 12 to 14 years old, something like that. I, uh, they're young. I mean, these kids are – these are young kids driving these cars. Uh, it's cool to see. I mean, they've only got four of them, Taylor, Sarah, Logan, Cutlass Jones, they call him. Uh, Logan, Cutlass Jones, and then Bailey Jackson. Another and another girl. Kaylee Skittles, Batalje. Three girls out of four. Wow. Logan, you got your hands full there, kid. <laughs> I mean <laughs> – <laughs> He, he's probably thinking I'm in the right class. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> you know, awesome. I saw I saw on uh, Mav TV, I think it was, where uh, late models on the pavement they have a junior class, and these kids are anywhere from 12 to 16 years old, I believe it is. Really? And they're running full blown late models. Was and this it, in California? Uh, oh, it was at Madeira. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what a great. What a great show those kids put on! Yeah. I mean, they're driving like veterans. It, it's amazing the for the talent. most part. Yeah, the talent we see uh, coming up anymore. Kids, yeah, you know, it used to be you didn't you didn't start racing until you were well, you able to, to get your own license. car and have a driver's license. Yeah. And now we've got these dads and moms out here that are saying, you know, my kids got some talent, and and I'm not saying they don't, but getting these cars and the you know we've seen Billy Workman getting the late models when he was what 12, 13 years old, right? Uh, same Tanner. with Joey Tanner, uh, and if there, there's. There is a learning process, okay, well, and we know this. Look at Colin. He's been racing since he was knee-high to a grasshopper. Yeah. Colin was born with a helmet on. Did you make that up? No. no. <laughs> but these kids, they grow up, and they start racing, so that's all they know. Mm-hmm. That's all they know. So it becomes so second nature. As they move up, they, t- they, just, they, they pick it up so fast. It, it, it's crazy to watch because we've got some young guys. We've got some kids. I mean, well, look at uh, yeah, we, Kevin Bedoin's kid. I mean, he he was what ten years old in a in a in a yep. Hornet out at Willamette. I mean, it's crazy to see these young kids moving up into into these big fast cars like you're talking about the the full blown late models. That didn't happen twenty years ago. Not at all. You know, you had to you had to earn your yeah. Well, yeah. Times are changing. They are, yep. but and you see talent quick yeah, coming out of the carts. I mean, you recognize who's going to be good, and if you've been around racing, who's not. Yeah, you just see it. Um, we are in our what division is this? This is here? the Hornet division. Hornet up there. division. Okay, so we had seven Hornets at sunset. John Gartner got the win. We had Captain six in turnabout. Yeah, Captain Turnabout in the old seven, the old pirate, salty old sailor. He is. I <laughs> <laughs> made he, he yeah uh, Gary. He's a wheelman. This dude is hardcore. I mean he he's he's a racer. He's definitely fun to talk to out there at sunset. Um, good little driver. And a little, uh, he runs a, I want to say a neon. It's got the big pirate skull and crossbones on it. And 
The whole cool. thing. He's he's Captain Turnabout. Right on. Uh, William Wolf, another good looking uh, little Toyota that he's got out there. The old school paint scheme, fast. Ron Henderson, Austin Henderson, going fourth and fifth. Travis Zimmerly and Ryan Conroy. There's only seven cars now. See that again. These are the Hornets. There's only seven at sunset on a Saturday night. And this is uh, surprising to me because when I was there announcing, it was nothing to have 16, 18 Hornets all the time. Are they all going to Grove? What, what's the deal? Who knows? We just saw 19 of them there. Yeah. You yeah. know, seven at sunset, which is another a great track for the Hornet division. Well, I thought I heard talk of a, a bunch of people going to build the Hornets for Willamette, and I haven't seen them yet. Well, you it, know, it, it, we it's, haven't. It's, it would be a good show if we got more cars out there. It would take 20 cars out there to really, much like the, the Great American Hornet Challenge, which is coming up. Yeah. We saw it last year. Which it was a good show because now you got to deal with lap traffic. Right. Instead of spreading out, going single file and playing and follow the leader, now you got to deal with traffic at that big show. When did we start last year? 24 cars in that race, I think it was. There was a lot of those cars on the track. Uh, I think they're going to do 20 cars this year, but the payout is huge yeah, for is. that race. It's going to be fun to watch. Uh, Sunset Speedway, moving up to our... Pier Stocks. The Pier Stocks, okay. All right, so this is one step below what we call street stocks. These guys got to run DOT tires. uh, No weight jacks. No weight jacks, two-barrel carbs. I think they have to restrict it to a two-barrel carb. I I believe. I might be talking out of line saying that, but... um, Tanner Crowling was your winner. Larry Brookshire with the Brookshire name. We know very well up there. Kendall Lee in the 66, he's always fast. Rob Faree, which we'll see both of those guys. You know they're both going to be at the, the Hornet Challenge. I mean, at the um, – what's the big Iron one they have Giant. up there? Yeah, Iron Giant. I think they'll probably show up. They did last year. <laughs> um, Mandy Clark. Mandy Clark, yeah. Yeah, we saw her at Willamette earlier this year. She rounded out the top five. That She was the last car in the lead lap, too. Wow. Tim Zoltra, Travis Pitch. I wonder what happened to Travis because he's usually pretty fast over there. He's one of those Six top guys. Down. AJ Marino, Scott Hood and Peel, another guy that's you know usually top two, three, four, uh, multiple laps down. Looks like he broke on lap five. And then Brian Fitzpatrick in the X11. Um, did you guys, while we're talking about Sunset, did you notice anything on Facebook today concerning Sunset Speedway? I I did not. I did see something, but it was indirectly related. This, what I'm talking about, um, and there was rumors, but after today it was pretty much confirmed that uh, PIR, Nikki Gamble's yeah, now at PIR yeah. and no longer at Sunset. Um, not sure what happened there. If she had a chance to move on to bigger and better things and took the opportunity. I mean, if that's the case, you can't blame her. I, I did hear something along that lines, and my hat's off to her. You know, that uh, the way I understand it, she got an opportunity to go do the same thing at PIR that she does for banks or did for banks. Well, and, and it was all on a on a uh, level playing field, you know. Sure. Respect everywhere sure. And, and good luck. You yeah, know. absolutely. Want to wish her the best in any any endeavor she has. But you know, Nikki has proven in more ways than one she knows how to run a racetrack. Right. And a PIR was in a position where they needed to go out and get somebody to do it. You know, I think they've got somebody that uh, is going to be a huge asset to them. That was probably a no-brainer to go to her, too. Ah, I mean, she's, she's made Sunset a huge success. I mean, when that, when that place was before she got there. Not that it was bad, but right, right. She it did, was she great. It. She did huge, huge things for, for Sunset Speedway. And we got to work with Nikki down here one night. And, and yep. I really uh, I really enjoyed working with her, so it's kind of a shame to see her go. She's a wild one, man. She is. She's, she's a lot of fun. Want to wish her the best and hope that Absolutely. Uh, Sunset can uh, fill. That's a big shoes to fill. I you know, don't know if I want to be that person following Nikki Gamble. <laughs> you yeah. know? Joel said he wanted to do it. Joel did say he wanted to do it, and he'll be Sunset. talking to Jerry, and yeah. he'll be talking to Jerry and turning an application. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you can use us as a personal reference, Joel, but <laughs> <You> probably <laughs> don't want to. <laughs> you know, if I want a good chances, I wouldn't use yeah, you. Yeah, that's too. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Not that anything we would say would hold any water. Yeah. But <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, 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 street stocks, right? Yes, sir. Moving in street stocks. Okay, who is our winner? Joey Tardio. Any surprise? No. No, but at the same time, names come up quite a bit. But look at who came in second. That's that's again no surprise if he wins. Arnie Case in the three three car. So we they know. call him Arnie at Sunset and Arnold at 
Willamette, huh? You know, it's just kind of... Either way, he is the Terminator. Terminator. He, he's, <laughs> he's a fast dude. Yeah, you he know, is. And he is... His name's always in there. So good. I mean, you watch him. 